Good morning everyone, welcome back to today's video. Today we are checking out how you can update NVE, which is a graphics pack, for both single player and 5M. Um, I am going over the update, uh, mainly because I have previously installed these, but kind of in the same way the install is exactly the same as updating, because it's the exact same process, so if you are new to installing NVE, it's the same exact way. Quick note, NVE is a paid graphics pack at this time through Patreon. Every month you pay, every month you get a new update for it. I do highly recommend it, but there are plenty of free graphics packs out there too, but this is the most uh, popular one, common one. It's been used in Mr. Beast videos and stuff like that as well. Anyway, let's get straight into this. So we're going to go ahead and start with our single player package first, mainly because it's going to have some of those core files that we're going to have to not double install with the 5M package. So when you're in here, there are a few things you're going to need to pull out of the zip file. You're going to go ahead and pull out the natural vision installer file. And then you're going to actually have to go into where um, all the main files and the N uh, ENB files are. And in order to do this, we're actually going to have to go to our main GTA root directory. So I do not recommend installing the single player package if you are trying to play GTA online because you probably will get in trouble because it adds these unknown files into your directory which means you could get banned from GTA online. Let's go back to this. So single player package you can see in here we have our medium uh, settings preset which is the one I always do. So you're just going to drag all these into your main GTA 5 directory. If you've previously installed them just go ahead and replace them and then you're just going to go ahead in the main files and drag all these in as well and replace them once again if you are updating. Now you can see in here we have moved our all of our normal files into our GTA directory. We have our natural vision installer on our desktop. Inside of the optional folder I like just dragging any of the ones I want to use out here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and um, not install Darker Nights but I'm going to install uh, let's do brighter emergency lights. I like those. So let's go ahead and install those. Um, I think that's the only one I really want to install in my case. Yeah, that's going to be the only one I'm going to install. So we're going to go ahead and open Open4. If you don't know what Open4 is, it is a resource or a kind of an application that allows you to edit GTA files, install custom cars, stuff like that. Make sure you go into edit mode. If it's your first time ever using Open4, it'll ask you to select your GTA directory. Go ahead and select that and open it up. You will then ask you to uh, create a mods folder and it will create one for you. So all this is going to be installed in the mods folder. But you're going to go ahead and click tools, go down to package installer, navigate to your desktop, and you want to start with the natural vision installer.ovi file. Then you're just going to have this pop up. It will say whatever access build you're on, if it's a different month or whatever. Go ahead and click install. Go ahead and click make sure it's into the mods folder and confirm the installation and then just let it install. This could take a minute depending on your system and how fast it can copy and read data. Obviously an SSD will go faster than a hard drive or something like that. Make sure you always install this um, first, the main OVI file first. Um, I can't speak today, it's OIV files, but make sure you install this first before you install any of the actual add-ons for this as well. So while this installs, I'm just going to let it real quick finish up, um, and I'll be right back. Alright, so there we go, it is successfully installed. So we're just going to go ahead and do the exact same thing with the package installer once again, but with the brighter emergency light add-on. You're just going to go ahead and once again click install, mods, and confirm, and it will go ahead and install. This should take way faster because it's literally just a small add-on on top of NVE. There we go, we are done. We can close out of Open4 and delete these two OIV files on our desktop like that. Now we have our 5M package. The way to get into your 5M and actually have to do this is you can see the main package is actually in mods folder. The ENB is also required. It's the same thing we did earlier, um, so you don't have to reinstall that for 5M. But you have the main package and it's actually in the mods folder. So you're gonna go ahead and open up 5M, your 5M folder, wherever that is, and you wanna find where you say 5M application data. If you don't see this, you can right click your 5M EXE and go to open file location and you should get another folder that kinda looks like this. You'll go into your 5M applications data folder and you'll see a mods folder. If you don't have a mods folder, all you have to do is actually drag in this mods folder but if you already have one, go in here and make sure you delete any of the older files um, that are from NVE because you technically don't want to um, use the same files you previously did or mix the installs. So then you're just going to drag in all these current NVE files 
and I'm just going to go ahead and let those drag over real quick. Um, these are going to be the latest versions, so every time you want to update your 5M, just delete the existing ones and add in the new ones, just like that. And then in your optional add-ons, this is with the same type of thing you had in single player. Do you want brighter emergency lights? I like the high intensity, so I'll go ahead and drag that one in. Um, I like the roads overhaul pack, so we'll go ahead and drag that one in as well, make the roads look nicer. Do I want a darker sky? Uh, I'll have a new, the new club, their redone club over there. Um, I don't want a Christmas, I don't want any of that. And they actually have two 500 resources as well um, that you can add in both client side, it's an add-on, and a server side resource as well. So pretty cool to have that. Anyway, we have fully installed this now. Um, we can launch the game and check it out. All right, so we are in game here, and you can see it is quite nice, a little bit different than the normal DFL GTA, well, quite different actually. So we know our graphics pack has installed successfully. So that is how you do this. Hopefully it does help you out. Hopefully you enjoy it, and thank you so much for watching today's video. I gotta head to work, but I will see you all in the next video in a few days. See you all then. Goodbye.